Hi, I'm Robert Well. And I'm Robert Well. And this is a weekly reminder, but we are not the same person. So, what? Move on from it. Move on. We've come across some sleeping hacks on the interwebs and we want to try them. <coughs> Could you just eat loads of nuts? So I'm actually excited about my sleep hack tonight. I'm going to be wearing socks to bed, which there's two things, right? I love having like cozy feet in bed. You know when you like, you shower before you get into bed and your bed's like freshly made or um, you had like a long day, your feet hurt and then you get into bed and there's like no pressure on your feet and no weight and they just, they feel really comfy and cozy and had like really long shifts. I watched a, a sleeping guy, actually a professional, who says that um, when you sleep, your body gets warmer. You need to try and remain the same temperature. The heat spike on, I can't what it was. I think basically you have to, re the, the heat yeah. spikes don't wake you up in your sleep. So I feel like if my feet get too hot, am I gonna be too hot in bed? But the whole point of this hack is that it's meant to increase blood flow around your body, regulate your, no, <laughs> it's meant to kind of like, and like having a warm bath before bed. So I usually fall asleep around, God, I, I sometimes I get into bed at like half 10, but I do wish I had like my comfy socks on. I call them carpet socks because they feel like you're walking around on carpet, um, but my fluffier socks. So we'll see if it makes any difference. I very often struggle to sleep in hotel rooms. So we'll see if wearing socks makes as big a difference as the internet says it does, or if it's just a myth. Morning. <laughs> I had probably one of the best night sleeps I've had in like a long time, like a really long time. And I don't know whether it was just because I was exhausted, but all those issues that I was talking about with like my body temperature just didn't happen. Yeah, like I didn't wake up once during the night and I usually wake up at least twice. My feet didn't feel warm, they didn't get too hot or anything. So I don't know if it was with the socks or if I was just really tired. I didn't feel that tired though. I don't know, I had a really good night's sleep and I don't know if it was just a coincidence. My ankles feel a little bit irritated, probably from having socks on all night. Um, but other than that, I feel like that might have actually worked. Right, everyone take a break. No. Oh, I clicked it. Oh, no. And Wembley Stadium. Liverpool's. Oh, it's horrible. I M hate, I hate. Munchen. Football stadium. Munchen. Baron Munchen. It's too vast and big. How do we get out of here? Zoom out. <laughs> Unfortunately, some are photospheres, so you can't move. Oh. Well, I don't know, where are Fabian Munchen? So we've got to figure from. out what language that is. There's two dots above the U. So it could be, um, I think, I think it's German. Let's go with Germany. Should we go to then? Germany and try and find Munch? What do you think Munchen would be if it was like, German? Mm, oh, um, oh. Munich. Where's Munich? Where's Munich? In Germany? Is it? I don't know. Okay, where's Germany? There. <laughs> oh my god, quick, quick. Can they Brian Munchen this one correctly? <laughs> <laughs> there! Ah! Fabian Munchen. We've got one minute to. <laughs> Quick, quick. Okay, I'm guessing it's like in the city. <laughs> museum. <laughs> Residence mansion. Can they guess? <laughs> what do we look for? Like, <laughs> where's mansion? <laughs> <laughs> look, that says Muncha Re Residrand. Zoom in there. Zoom. Zoom. Zoom in there. Zoom in here. Oh, it's the same mansion everywhere. Yeah, because it's me. All of it's Munich. Oh, we're gonna be really. Fun. But at least we're in the city, which is good. Yeah, we've got the uh, country right. Look, just click on the zoo for now, and at least we'll be near. Where's it. the zoo? Go up. Oh, we've got twenty twenty seconds. Zoo. Seconds. Just click on zoo. that, and we'll be like. Zoo. Ah, oh, ah. No, no, no. Should we just do that? Just, just do that. Just do that. Just do that. Correct. You got the country. What did you score? Four nine, Four, nine six, six, six. Six points. Hi, Robert. Hi. Where are we? We're in a hotel in Lansing. Yeah. What are we doing here? 
we just filmed something um, um, for the TV. Right. Rather. Yes. If your life were a movie, what would the title be? Oh. Sitting at home. Robert, speaking of fashion, so. what's your favorite makeup trend right now? The Pat McGrath shiny face. Do what? Prosthetics and makeup this year. Yeah. Uh, Profeses. Yeah. Robert, what are you doing? <laughs> if you could raid any other influencer's makeup collection, yes. who would it be? Hmm. Well, if I don't know any. <laughs> What's your favorite makeup product in your collection right now? Um, I don't know the name of it, but that um, um, foundation tinted moisturizer that isn't a beam. James, if you could have dinner with any fashion icon, living or dead, who would it be? Kirsty Albright. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. What's the one fashion rule? Change it to skincare. You, what's the one skincare rule you always break? Um, don't pick at your skin. I'm just trying to find my Pepto tablets. There yeah. they are. James, how do you stay inspired when putting together a skincare routine? <laughs> It says outfit. Um, whoever sends me products, I might use them. If you were to launch your own skincare line, what would be the signature piece? Oh God. The what? Signature piece. Oh, if it's a sixth piece. Um, oh, Kirsty Albright. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be a toner. Great. Um, share the fashion, share the skincare trend you predict will make a comeback. In the next decade. That's a long time. That's, that's, that's a very long time. Well, history's repeating itself, especially with the Tink Tonk kids. Do you know what I think? It might be mochi skin, which is like dry, like matte skin. Powdery that skin. That almost has like a powdery looking texture to it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here at Robert's, just outside the door now. They're in there filming their latest video. Um, I got up at 3am this morning to surprise them, so let's do it. Surprise! <laughs> Why are you here? No. You don't mind, I, honestly, of course, obviously we don't mind you coming around, but we... We know that you, we call the police when this happens. Oh, we've done it so many times. Just wanted to because I've obviously moved and it's. But um... you're. I'm. I'm not saying you're not, you're not welcome to come around because obviously you are. But also at the same time you, you can't. I can't just. You have come to around, let. Yeah. You have to let us know because of what happened last time. So I am gonna have to call the police now. Yeah. No. Do you okay. get? Do you understand why though? Yeah, it's just well, I thought no, because I since I moved eight hours away. But I can't. I got up at yeah, three a.m. I just thought it'd be. We nice don't to see you. We don't ask you to. We haven't asked you to when we stay in hotel rooms, we usually have the air con on, mm. but then we also find that we get too hot, but also too cold at the same right, time. Right. So it's hard to find that that specific temperature that's meant yes. to keep you sleeping the whole yeah. time. Let's yeah. have a look. So it is um, the evening. Obviously, I'm about to go to bed. One of our hacks is. Tem it involves temperature and basically says to keep the temperature off your room between 16, I think it's 16 and 19 degrees or the grease. So the idea is that it claims that your body drops in temperature a few degrees when you sleep, so you get a little bit cold. So the ideal temperature is in between 16 and, 16 and 19. For me, I get really hot when I sleep. Like I, I it could be snowing in the room and if I'm under the duvet I will get really warm. I'm about to change the temperature but last night in this hotel room I was freezing. My feet were cold, my nose, when you, you know when you've been outside and your nose is cold you're like oh my god it's so cold. I turned it all the way up to 20 something but we will do it 19, 18 and see if that does anything. See if that makes me more comfortable. Okay so here it is. Here's the instructions. You can print another one of these out. Marriott. Okay let's turn this on. And it's on 18, so that's good. So we'll keep it there. What's the fan doing? We'll keep it on auto, auto fan, 18 degrees, and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm in bed. Um, my face looks a bit orange because I'm trying this like sculpty thing. And I'm actually cold. I'm never cold in bed. I can feel like a cold breeze coming from a thing. So I'm just waiting. I'm gonna wait a little bit to see if it gets to like 
room temperature, but my feet are, my feet are so cold. I, don't, I, I want it to be warmer in here, basically. Morning. <laughs> I've literally just woke up and I thought, let me grab the, the my phone before. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually, I'm really, really cold this morning. My feet are cold. I have a bit of a runny nose. You know, when you like leave it like air conditioning on or a fan on and you wake up and your nose is all runny. I feel a bit like that, but... I slept so much better last night than I did the night before. Um, whether that's because the night before I knew I had to be up at a certain time. You know, since your body keeps waking you up, it's like, wake up because you need to be awake in seven hours. But I did sleep a lot better, but I am cold. So it kind of defeats the purpose of a hack because a hack is like, don't be cold. Anyway, this next one has kind of gone famous on TikTok because it's so shocking. It's awful. Yeah, but this was a program called 10 Years Younger. It was mm. like injectables, Botox. Oh, was it? Face peels, yeah. Oh my God. Let's see what Carrie's doing. Our contributor today is Carrie Fender. She's only 35 years old, but the poll thinks she looks 40. But her overall demeanor is really frumpy. And I think that's what we really got to work on. Patrick, would you like to come up and let us know what you think? Oh, she's there! <laughs> They were talking about why she wasn't there. <laughs> That's so mean. And they're calling it one by one. So come and tell us what you think. Patrick, what exactly is it about Kerry's skin that's aging her? Uh, firstly, her skin is... Uh... She has good skin. She also has blemishes. But she yeah, has she's like, got a really nice good skin. Like, glow to her skin. Mm. Steve, come tell us what you think. Do you smile a lot? Um, usually with my hand over my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I can understand why. Although these teeth look very healthy, they're, they're misshapen, so she doesn't have the confidence to smile. Bunny rabbit. Yeah. You know what this is missing compared to modern things, mm. right? Like Queer Eye. They're not trying to uplift the person. I no. think you said this earlier. They're mm. like, yeah, she looks shit. I think at the moment it's, it's sorry, Kerry, it's all wrong. It's, um, <laughs> it's too short. It's too thick. So they move on to like more like the styling bit, like clothes styling now. This was actually always quite interesting. I think there was a phase in the early 2000s where people were buying like how to dress yourself books, mm, how to yeah. dress yourself, which was actually quite interesting. Very up the time. Very up the time. Okay. Okay, so what are your initial thoughts on this? My first thoughts are I like the jeans, but I don't think they fit me. Because they look as though they're too tight on the bottom. They look fantastic on you. Yeah. I would think they weren't meant to be that tight. This was the time skinny jeans were becoming a thing. Right. I think we're going out the time where people were, were wearing like low waisted, yes, yeah. baggy boot flares, cut flares yeah. and like skinny jeans. She looks yeah. great. Real great <laughs> earth in his jeans. The jeans would have been something I would would sort of like pick out myself, oh, even if, you know, I'd go. For... <laughs> But she doesn't look comfortable. She, she doesn't look comfortable. She looks so uncomfortable. It's because you're really flat chested. It actually makes you look yeah. like you've got some boobs there. Yeah, a little bit just because of the empire line. I think it's not just, it's because you, you know, you have, a, your chest is smaller. smaller. So having it's because like you're really flat chested. It's horrible. The delivery is just. All done. Kerry's shown what a difference 10 days can make. Oh my God. Oh, that's never me. <laughs> and she's binned those sexless aging clothes in favor of something infinitely more flattering. Sexless <laughs> aging clothes. Sexless. She does she look looks, younger. She does. She doesn't look her age though still. Right. I think she looks right. like a hip mum. Yeah, they could have. Yeah. To be fair though, that was back then. That tr yeah. That was yeah, the yeah, kind yeah. of style. It was yeah. like wear a really slim belt with yeah. some really butterfly jeans. You yeah. know what I mean? Her hair has a complete new look with extensions and a fashionable choppy cut. See, she's gonna have to wake up with this hair and style it herself. Yeah. And you can see that all <clears> the <throat> hairs are very precisely. Shape because she's had five in. extensions. She's put had. In. I don't think this was ever a, a style. This was never. Back then, it looked shit too. Yeah. <laughs> Kerry, ten days ago we did a poll, mm -hmm. and your average age, as you know, was forty. We just did another poll. Your new average age is twenty-eight. 
28. 28, wow, that's fantastic. Like going through a mangle and coming out the other side a different person, really, because your attitude just changes. I'm glad it's brought her some confidence then. Yeah, I'm glad she's happy. I've never heard someone describe, describe clothes as sexless. Me neither. I really want to know what That's what mean. I'm going to use to describe anything boring now. Yeah. <laughs> That film was sexless. Sexless. <laughs> we'll see you. Oh, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. I, you know what it is? Something about the lighthouse and like the architecture of this mm. house that looks really modern in an older setting it gives me like Norway for some reason. Mm, I get do you that. Do you know what I mean? I get that. I'm happy to say Norway. Should we do it? Let's say Norway. Yeah, I think it's going to be wrong. South Africa. Ah!